are you going to be going to Inspire or not? And it's going to start here on Abyss with DRX and Team Heretics. And as the barriers get ready to drop, battle commencing. You see some key differences here. Goes across the board with that one Sheriff in the hands of Miniboo. Couple classics in play here for the side of DRX as they start things off on the attack. Yeah, and one thing already that you take a look at the mini map is that DRX is very proactive, particularly flashback on the attacker side with taking control over mid, making sure that they have the ability to create that extra flank angle, whether it be through Link, whether it be through Vents towards A. A lot of different options available to them, so they're really keen on making sure that they have control of that space, that they also have identification of when potential flanks and rotations could be coming through. Yeah, but taking their time, pausing here, a deep Astra Star right by the orb has to have alarm bells ringing in your head that maybe there's some kind of trap play set up with the cam behind the box on the other side as well. Very nice hidden spot. See if the arts can get past. No, oh, great shot. Mini Boo picking things off nicely. Fantastic headshot to find Buzz right off the rip. Now operating with just those four players left alive here. Spam across Bane taken down low. We'll be able to survive and get that spike planted. Now how do they try to pilot this one? No one flanking around from behind. Just gonna be the full five-man crunch straight up onto the side itself. And we have a flash left to work with here for utility for DRX. So it's gonna be a good gunfire. They're gonna get through this round. Is he gonna be waited out? No one peeking. Cage going up, flashback working his way over in towards window. Goes out on the back of that flash set up from Boxy9. It's gonna be three players getting one a pop. Time now gonna be taking down Mini Boo. Gonna try to hold things down to half. They pull him off for now. Not gonna be holding it down though. Pooh, last one standing. And as he peeks down for the recon, flashback will take him out. DRX find the opening pistol. Yeah, just a pretty simple, straightforward round here from DRX. Yeah, they lose a player early, but they're able to get that plant down despite the spam. And even without much util left, they're able to win some very important fights there with an overstack towards that plant angle. And Team Heretics didn't have a ton to do in response. It's going to be curious to me to see how Heretics want to approach this map. DRX has been so, so strong on it in so many different ways. They show you so many different looks. They've got all these little extra cheeky plays, extra plans in the back pocket. A little bit of info there for DRX, but they're really difficult to kind of keep an eye on in this map because they're so proactive towards mid. They're so proactive towards those extra angles, towards the rotations to keep track of where the players are. And already pings are coming down from DRX considering how they want to deal with either mid vents or towards B. But for now, just another slow start looking to see if anybody from the side of Heretics is gonna make a move. Sheriff bought for mini boot. That's the only buy up there for the Heretics side. Casual glimpse onto Woot there. Playing within that mid connector. His flashbacks work his way forward. A lot of angles to be wary about. That smoke does help obfuscate one, but well, smoke gonna dissipate the push in. Catches a glimpse, Woot pulling back. Just that classic, but there's the headshot. Flashback starts breaking things open. Cyber Cage, trap wire gonna be set up here to try to intercept against Miniboo, who does get spotted out. A sliver exposed, but plus up over the top. Looking for that second kill, cannot find it. Boo! Miniboo rather able to find Flashback taking him down. Plant now gonna be coming through. And this is damage dealt territory. From here on out, if Heretics can find some more value, if not the round win. Crucially. No gun able to be picked up just yet. Another Sheriff, that's the only upgrade. Boxy, not quite paying attention, but seems like it doesn't matter. Bane from down below will be able to collect them both. And DRX start things off 2-0. Yeah, this is classic DRX on this map. Flashback takes vent control. They get a flash up and over the box on A site. Buzz dashes up there, gets a kill. Stock standard stuff for DRX so far. Haven't seen anything too out of the ordinary. Bane just tucked underneath the rope. Finds two big kills, and certainly for the fans here in Seoul, South Korea, a lot of tension in the air today. As the last team from not just Pacific, but from Korea, alive in this tournament, hoping to make it a little bit farther, hoping to make it the big venue at Inspire. I mean, obviously, either of these teams, whichever goes forward, that's their region represented. The other one left without anybody for those final few days. Dueling cams here in mid. So on the rope, wary about a forward push here as Benji just around the corner. Position to punish. 
Flashback once again, pushing forward, taking some space here, just trying to see if there's anyone going for any kind of peek. As Mako now going to be noted, but he keeps the cam quiet. The drop down, they don't know about this one. Now they strike. Flashback going to be noted here. Tagged up, taking low, 16 HP remaining as he tries to swing back out, but Woot strikes them both down. Still found to try to get that Gecko online. Dash of the meanwhile, sat here for Minibu. Foxy's able to find one, but now he's up over the top, and now he's striking, taking him out before they know it's hit him. Only two players lost here. ZRX not going to be able to find a bonus conversion, and Heretics get themselves on the board. Great little change up here from Heretics. They tuck Woot in right behind the vent door, and then hide that camera that gets all the information, and they just wait for the timing, go for the crunch, knock two players down. So that's a really good counter maneuver to what DRX likes to do on this map. Their own way of establishing mid control here for Heretics. It works a treat, DRX completely bamboozled by this move. Woo, so important that he picks it up here today. Struggled mightily in their match against Leviathan. But certainly we know that he is capable of putting up huge performances. How many times do we see it at Shanghai? Oh yeah. On the right day. He is that world beater. Now, Blades online for the side of Heretics. Ults still lagging behind here for the side of DRX. One off for Bane. Hunter's here nearly in play. Flashback once again, poking prodding around mid. That's just some spam out here to squirt Bane forward. So, ultimate now online for the Silva. That is just Boo alone on this A side for now. And it's a really cautious game plan from DRX trying to squeeze what information they can out of Team Heretics. But so far, frankly, Heretics has been pretty good about keeping themselves the obscured, not really making it easy to know who's where. Recon Dart sent over to A. You're going to get the spot on to Boo. But that's it so far. And DRX faking some footsteps, trying to show that they're going back to B. Instead, they are going to be committing fully to this A side hit. Pink nope. still coming down, 2v5 to try to hold the line here for the side of Heretics as DRX gets into position ready to strike. Do have right that here. Hunter's Fury to clear up some space. Might just open it to try to clear out tower and it seems like that's gonna be the game plan here but Woot able to avoid that first burst, drops down, does get clipped by the second, tries to play elusive but Bane, he's able to find him. Boo, however, finds the punish buzz, taking oh. out Snappy with a follow-up, flashback's dead. Suddenly the man advantage back into their hands but now equalizes Foxy, is able to find the enemy Astra. 3v3 as the spike gets planted. Foxy, the null command online. Does he opt to pull the trigger on it? Seems like for now, call's gonna be to save it. But Wako, eyes carried over to the side by the recon dart, but Foxy holding the corner. Collects them both, he's up over the top. He's trying to find that fourth kill, and he will. Oh, the round looking like it was gonna get away from them, but Foxy9 bails them out and gets DRX secured in the lead. And Boo, who was so clutch, so stalwart for Heretics in their loss against Leviathan. Comes up huge here, outdoing Foxy9, or excuse me, outdoing Flashback. What a snapback from him as well. But Foxy9 answering big. This adjustment there to pull back just a little bit to cut that angle off from Rien. So, so good from Foxy9. Has been really instrumental for DRX with some of these big rounds that he's able to conjure up for them throughout these playoffs and throughout all of champions so far. Now we look back towards A where Team Heretics setting up a high-low potential. Well, they're gonna fall back. Push coming through, they're still gonna be good for one. And his weapon will be recovered. Boo, able to go ahead, scoop up the Vandal. Additional damage dealt as Mako's down to 37. This gives them an opportunity. And Mini Boo, he's here on the flank. Pushing his way forward. No. Cam not gonna spot. Swing out, looking for the knives, but it's just too many targets. Has to back away, but now there's just one blade remaining. Has to get the reset. Trying to identify where Mini Boo went there with that cam. Don't know if they're able to fully read that he is still right on their heels, but Flashback is going to continue to hold this angle. And Mini Boo, he's the one who's helping to keep the RX contained. As long as he continues to play this angle, basically knows that. They haven't escaped. Next jump peak coming in. Flashback has the punish. The timing. And immediately the neural theft is going to be invested. Insane. Revealing the last three. Flashback now swinging around. 30 seconds As it looks left. like Boo's going to go for the challenge. 30 seconds remaining. They're actually going to rotate out of this position, though. Flashback push forward. Boo, though, intercepting. Spike and that's down, the spike mid. now down on the floor. 
Flashback, it's all been put in his hands. Swings in, and he's good for the kills, but they need to get that spike. They need to get to the site. And I just don't think they have the time. 14 seconds remaining. I have retrieved the spike. Oh, boy. 10 seconds left. Can he sprint oh, in time? Oh, him. it doesn't matter, Buzz! Catches Rien's in transit, and he saves them. <laughs> what in the world? That was so scrappy there. A little wave from Bane there, too. But great start. I like the idea here from Heretics, the way that they're trying to crunch. DRX try to get that Blade Storm opened up, but Mini Boo just can't find the target. Boo, however, has been popping. Finding some huge kills, but Buzz just goes for it. Catches Rian's off guard, not sure. And with seven seconds remaining, I'm, I'm fairly certain that Heretics would have had the round. Yep. Either way, four to one now for DRX as we go right back into the thick of things. Three point off the rip, the scout, boo. No ambiguity in his positioning here. Just look to back away. There's an all command spam. Looking for the tags here and Buzz as he comes wow. out of the flash. He's a little bit ahead of that flash. Ends up getting taken down, coming through the smoke. And Benji Fishy with covering fire as well. In a pinch there on the flashback, not allowing him to have that presence in mid. So now three players to try to defend here. Versus the full forces of Heretics. They have the thrash and DRX so close to the site. It'll be the Neural Theft to start. Getting the reveal, the thrash now. Being able to seek target up and over the top. Bane gonna be detained. It's an easy kill. Mako fights back, finds one. Mosh sent, but now Foxy, last one standing. Pulls back over in towards Bane. Spike planted for him, but the Nebula cuts off his vision. Drop down's coming through. Flush finds one. It cannot get the other. Solid efforts from the side of Foxy9, but Heretics will be able to take this round. Yeah, DRX trying to turn up the tempo off the back of Foxy9's ult, but Boo is just having none of it. Great opener there. Get Buzz, just waits around that extra, extra half second before that flash lands to find that first kill. And Boo has been so hot. It's very fired up at the moment. Kill leader here for the side of Team Heretics at 8 4 and 2. And still a bit of a hill to climb, but because of the scrappiness in the previous rounds, you can see it's going to be the RX now. Forced back over towards an eco. Just a singer in play for Foxy. Knives pop for Buzz. Dusk was talking about it. Can Buzz find that same impact that we were seeing from him versus Trace? So far, it hasn't been quite as explosive. He's gonna go, go around. Out and around the back. It looks like he's going to, and the distraction is there. Lands on the bridge. Caught by the dizzy, but otherwise, unharmed, untethered. A couple shots through, some damage dealt. Bane down to 14 as Ren's able to snipe out Buzz, knowing that his mobility had been burnt. Spike planted. 4v4, but the weapon's very much still in the hands here of Heretics. Flashback. Right, a Vandal picked up. Zero point will scout them all. Pop flash to swing out to the corner, just trying to utilize that stinger up close and personal, but it doesn't find any value. Instead, it's Mini Boo coming up with three. Flashback now, recovered weapon. He's able to put down one. Recon reveals, and the firing squad's on the opposite side of the cloud burst. The heretics stringing two together, themselves separated now by just one round. Yeah, and you can see some of the ideas that DRX has on this map. Playing off the back of that drone, getting the spot. Allowing the up and over for Buzz, but a great find here for Rienz, who has been absolutely stellar throughout all of Champions. One of the top rated players so far throughout this event. Finds a great, great pick there. And then Mini Boo comes alive. Ties up with Boo in the kill department. Eight apiece now. That was a huge hold there off the back of that pop flash. That could have been devastating for Heretics. Not a bad idea for DIX, but Boo was just on it. So quick to react there. Now, deep dart, a little bit of mid control established here for DRX to set up that cam for flashback. And back to more of this slow, steady style that had been working for DRX early on in this half. We saw a couple rounds where they turned up the tempo, weren't really able to get what they wanted out of it. Those retakes so, so good for Heretics. When they clump up like that, that is when they were at their best against Leviathan. That was one of the big things I noticed going back and watching that game, particularly on Icebox. They got together, they started playing shoulder to shoulder. They were extremely scary, as they have been all year. They can start stringing rounds together, 
and all of a sudden you're you're down six, seven rounds in the blink of an eye. Shock guard sent to try to clear out any cipher util that might be there. As we can see though, heretics have set everything up on that A site. With Wu playing out, peeking towards mid, but is very nearby to help receive some of this pressure that's about to be exerted by DRX. Haven't been seeing them pay too much attention towards this side of the map. Looks like Heretics left. get a decent read, especially as those shots start ringing out. Nebula's coming down, Buzz on the entry. Gets himself up and over, and he's not ready for Mini Buddha, but he just sat at back sight. A bit of damage gonna be taken to Foxy9, able to confirm the kill, as it will just be a trade out on the Jets for now. Flashback approaching from behind. Looking for his opportunity to try to intercept, and time is ticking. They clear out the site, the reveal coming through, another Nero that built up. Flashback finds Rienz, and now it's just Benji Fishy left. Hightailing it across back towards A to try to keep his life intact. What a pause from DRX there. Even though Buzz goes down, Foxy9 is able to find a kill and get himself to the back of sight. And then they just wait for those smokes to go down and they strike together. Paco should have heard that. There's a setup. Oh, he, he definitely, definitely knows about that one. Yeah. <laughs> Winley just going to be waiting for the rest of his teammates to try to get into position. Warning ping coming down. There's the clear on one. Flashback also held at bay. They go for the peek out. Have to assess that he's going to be playing towards that back site. Push onto the corner. Benji Fishy going to be good to hold his ground. Finds one, clears the recon. Can they overwhelmed? As he's looking for that third kill, can't quite make it happen. Took a lot of bodies, a lot of effort, but DRX eventually will wrestle that gun out of his hands. But still here. I mean, DRX going back to what had worked. That's a huge opener there. Take Mini Boo down for Foxy9. That opens up that extra angle there for them to collapse onto Woot and Boo. Open up the site. Flashback looking so good. Clean as heck so far today. The rookie has been impressing on that cypher, particularly on this map at times. Now, I think we have a bit of a pause. Positioning, setting up those layers of util and crossfires. But Team Heretics, when they work together, uh, they're so efficient and so clean, they can just run you over. And I will say, to Heretics' credit, they've done a good job shutting Buzz down. Yeah. He's had a tough time making these entries. He's had to kind of go back to old school blue collar buzz. And that's what I was actually going to say. It feels like this is less of the, the explosive buzz that we were seeing, you know, versus the likes of Trace, etc., and more like the DRX of your, uh, you know, where he's playing that entry. Self sometimes it's going to be good for one, sometimes dies, but the rest of the team is able to pick up the pieces in the round. Exactly. In the story so far. DRX once again. Early zero point over towards A. Decide to go ahead, pack it up, start shipping things towards this B site. And a fun little fact, coming into today, Buzz was the ACS leader for this tournament so far. So he has been absolutely monstrous for DRX. Smoke goes up, DRX positioning themselves behind it, but this is a difficult crossfire, potentially, but Team Heretics is pulling back a bit. For now, Mini Boo just here around the corner. It ends up eating that full flash. Repeat, so it's going to be rewarded with two. Pain flashback going to be taken down. Rian's getting a piece of the pie. Finds Foxy9. Now it's a 2v3 with Buzz. Knocked down to 31, but still somehow equalizes the count. Left. Benji Fishy, Neural Theft available, but all the corpses that he'd be looking for set up right at main. Spaz just sliding back here towards backside, catches a glimpse. Dash at the ready, Ooh. gets the headshot, but Benji Fishy on the repeat, gonna be good for that kill. Mako trying to confirm it, but can't quite nail the shots. Swings out, spots them both, the Neural Theft now coming into play. Looks for the timing, swings out and finds the first. The defuse starting, goes back around to try to interrupt it. Does so, but drops the weapon. Mako wanting to pick up another. But it's a bit of a misplay as Woot will be able to go ahead and drag them over the line, keeping things damn close. Yeah, but that neural theft gives Woot such a huge advantage in that situation. Knows he can keep track of Mako and play right off the timing with his wingman. And he's perfect with it. That crossfire there, yeah. It kind of goes in the favor of DRX for, with the 2-2. Usually, it's a slightly attacker-sided favor exchange, but good. Just for this is a rounds, great play. Just we need to play together. We are playing good, but we're... Bingo. 100% agree. Yeah. Well, once again, Heretics will find themselves with the advantage as far as the weaponry is concerned, and this could be where they get tied up at 5-5. Five five. Knives will be nullified right off the rip. 
And this time it's looking like a much faster pivot towards B for DRX. Spike dropped. One away from Bane's ultimate, so they're gonna pass the spike over to him. See if they can get that planted, see if they can get a deeper pose plant set up potentially. But look at the read from Heretics, they're already My sending two players there. over to reinforce this B site. It's been too quiet. Over on A, no util. They can lean an extra player in this direction. Well, it's pretty much all but confirmed. Ping's coming down, suspecting these rotates through that defender spawn, but does DRX understand that they've already made it? They've already managed to get themselves over here. DRX has very little info. Slow creep up through the nebula. Mini Boo on the box, just here above. Smoke obfuscates him for now. Entry coming in, flashback to first to fall. Swing out, Buzz trying to find the punish. That's a hero rifle now down on the floor. As Woot answers back in kind. Spike plant will come in. Spike. But widely, just Bane with the Sheriff. As far as the firepower is concerned, versus five. The thrash to check, looking for a timing. Mako immediately gonna be caught and killed. Now just two left to try to flush out. Recon getting the reveal. Potentially on both there as Mini Boo just swings around, takes his head off, and Foxy will fall. Heretics, they wait it out, they get the defuse, and we're tied up at five to five. Exactly. This is what has been working for the Heretics in a lot of these rounds is take a little bit of contact early, take your shots, see if you can find something. Boo there right through the smoke, goes fishing, connects, and then regroup, set up for the retakes. Start knocking players down. Great little, like great little micro adjustment there from Mini Boo to jump up a little bit, knowing his opponent had his sheriff. You want to break that crosshair angle. Little things like that. So so important. And that's a clean round. Game plan it looks like as it's null command. Hunter's Fury available for the side of DRX. Cosmic divide for Boo, potentially for a retank. Unless they can stop them and hold them at the gates. Well, and last time, when they had the no command, it was a fast hit from DRX, so a little bit of an uh, aggressive positioning there from Heretics with a couple initiators to see if maybe they could cut it off at the point of attack. Use that Gecko util, kind of slow things down, get a little bit of extra info with the Sova as well, but without that fast hit, Heretics right back to kind of playing a bit more defaulty, although this time around, Boo is in spawn. Just waiting to turn it around with that Astra util. See if he can slow things down. Flash to peek in towards A main. Nothing going to be spotted there as Mako TPs his way up into this mid connector. Cover going out. Ping coming down, but Cam not going to be noting anything as Paranoia set at the ready. Crashes across. Might get the catch there on the re-ends. They get the ping reveal, but finally everybody going to be held back there by that Mosh and Mako now to try to be the one to stop them here in their footsteps. Swings out, catches a good timing, clears out the Dizzy, and finds a second to boot. Bane at the same time, gets rid of boot. And now it's a 2v5 for the retake here. Heretics, how long do they want to stick around? The money is still a bit wishy-washy. It looks leave. like the call to go ahead and evacuate has been made. That's crazy huge for DRX. Didn't have to use either ultimate. Neither the No Command nor the Hunter's Fury had to be invested there because Mako comes up huge. They love to sneak players in through that vent time and time again throughout this event. And you can see early that Heretics had some ideas about trying to identify it, but DRX put it in their back pocket. They waited to bring that out again until very late in this half. It caught Heretics just enough off guard that Mako's able to find some big kills. Good job by there, there by Bane as well. Going up the rope. Helping out Mako, setting up that extra crossfire angle. Last round. This is just all Mako. What a reaction here. Takes on the Dizzy and readjust. That's classic Mako. Bane, this is a quick peek up. Gets the kill. Drops right back down. A flawless. As DRX get up to six. And we go into the last round. And as you mentioned, those crucial ultimates not burnt. Mako does have another one available for himself. See how pivotal or not that ends up being. Might even be able to get Buzz As, another Blade Storm. Well, Buzz is going to go for an Outlaw. Yep. He might be suspecting that there's more half armors, maybe two, but Woot does go for the full purchase. You know, has the money, so. I think he why misread wouldn't? the economy here yeah. a little bit. Me when I invest in stocks. <laughs> 
lost everything. Yeah, it'd be like that. But again, a It'll very come back. Number go up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very <laughs> slow start to a round. DRX just kind of just one, two pacey hits throughout this half. They very much are taking their time here. But I like this because one of the things that Leviathan was doing really well against Heretics. Trying to fake a little bit. Yeah, but what they were trying to do for Leviathan's case was kind of pick players apart, kind of take Heretics one by one. And they were able to find some really good moments like that. And that's why I said I wanted to see Heretics play a bit more hesitant. You know, a little bit of, if you get contact, take a couple shots and peel off. Because I think if you have a 5v5, you have a really good chance against any team at this event. Okay, Hunter Sphere to try to open things up once again. Rians dashing left. around these, so we'll go unscouted. Three players to try to intercept Woot playing close on that left-hand side. Flash goes out, he tucks up the rope to try to dodge that one out, and Boz shorts it! Uh-oh! Has a hold down that space bar as he tries to scout around the back of the site for the rest of his team. But ultimately, this is a 3v3. Buzz is completely and utterly out of the equation. Just drifting off. Right there. And could that be their undoing? Do they know? Does Heretics know yet? <laughs> Seems like they <laughs> are not necessarily certain about this one because he hasn't died. Boo, short dash over to the side. He's able to find two. Now it's all confirmed, but the reveal is in. Flashback collecting one. The drop down. Boo, he's right in front of him. And like Jeremy before him, Buzz will go off the side of the map. And DRX will win the round. Yeah, but <laughs> this kid flashback has unbelievable instincts. Just falling back behind that wall, expecting a player to be back there somewhere. Immediately finds value. What a clutch. And he's been stalwart in getting DRX up to the seven round victory so far in the half. But we're going to go to a quick little break, take a breather. And go ahead and enjoy this halftime. The Arcs, very, very annoying on their defender side on this map so far, have really done a great job shutting teams down, not giving them a lot of opportunities to even get spike plants down, or if they do, the retakes have been very, very clean. Buzz once again up on his standard spot, doing a little checking up and over with the Gecko Util. Double Sheriff full ghost here for the side of DRX. Rian's just sticking with that classic, wanting all the util that he can possibly get. Yeah, look at this crossfire angle. You got Mako up top, Foxy around the corner, trap wire right in front. Looking to see if they can get a few freebies out of that, but Mako now shifting over to double check. He's pulling back, looking to try to maybe reinforce Bane here in mid. Yeah. I heard I, that cyber cage get placed. Yep. They got to make sure that nobody's sneaking up off the back of that. They don't have information from the other side of that smoke, so they need to make sure that it's clear. As that zero point comes down, they're able to dodge it. As Heretics had already started backpedaling, so they don't get caught. But now it seems like after having that come through, they do want to end up going here in towards A. And Heretics are doing everything they can to try to send obfuscation towards mid. Now the hit is on, and it's spot already. There's the reveal. Mini Boo trying to dash away, but eventually Foxy is able to collect. Gets tagged once, down to 86. Quick clear. Oh. And Mako finding Benji, Benji Fishy. So he can continue to just one by one swing out here from backside. Up and over the top goes Boo. But can he find the impact? Spots them both out. Finds the first, cannot get the second, cannot get the transfer. And three ends dead on the bridge. Corpse falling into the abyss. DRX will take another pistol. And Heretics there trying to send some fake signals to DRX. But DRX, well aware. Just holds the line. And one unaccounted for trap wire right outside of the front of that smoke. Catches Mini Boo, and things just start crumbling for Team Heretics. Great setup there for DRX. And they're able to capitalize quite nicely. And it is a great start once again here for DRX on Abyss. And the desk was asking, is this the best Abyss team in the world right now? Well. Well, we'll see. But in I think, that direction. Yes. We're just grabbing the orb over here at B. Three away from having the Thrash online. Four Bulldogs purchased this time around for DRX. Really does feel like old school DRX today. 
pure Bulldogs on the anti-eco. Buzz just old school in it. Working their way back over towards this A site. A lot of this is going to be on the shoulders here of Minibu. He's the one with the ghost. Has that extra little bit of firepower. A couple shots ringing out there from Boo outside of B. Draws attention back from Buzz. As for now, just playing Pac-Man. Right there. Grabbing the orbs here. This is that one way that you're going to see time and time again throughout Foxy. the defender's side. Foxy waiting to hear so any kind of control. util. There he goes, sends it out. Catches everyone. The dash already has come through, though. Has he read this? Checks up above, and then Minibu swings in from underneath. Headshot found, but Mako reinforces, moving up right out outside of main. It cleans up three. Spike now stranded here within the smoke. Boo with the classic, can he do anything? Not quite. A shot into Bane's shoulder. And as overall, it's a very clean round. All of the weapons, I believe, carried forward there from the side of DRX. Then again. I think they, okay. So they're gonna buy up an early operator again here for Buzz, something they've been doing a lot. That's Buzz's shown us tremendous performances with that operator. It's fantastic stuff with these Bulldogs. And they have a Sheriff for Foxy9, so crucial round here for Team Heretics. They need to prevent DRX from claiming this bonus. Otherwise, it is going to be very, very difficult to claw their way back into this match. Buzz is going to be watching mid, and ooh, oh, ooh. A big kill. Foxy9 going to be taken down. That calls for the immediate rotation. Look at Mako, though. They pinged it out. They're aware. Buzz peeking, but he doesn't know how far in Boo is. And now he's well aware. Boo the headshot as they all go drifting over towards this B site. Team Heretics slipping the net, rotating back into A. Flashback has his setup here to try to buy some time, and Mako waits out patiently. Finds the kill, gets a bit of a weapon upgrade. As there's the up and over, there's the ping what? reveal. Flashback able to interrupt. Stops the plan from coming through. Offering up some time for Mako to try to rotate back around. There's the re-ping! And Bane this time gets involved. And suddenly, it's DRX, the ones with the advantage. I was thinking they should go back and maybe just grab the op and... <laughs> yeah, settle in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And now with a real chance, the close of the round, Mini Boo peeking in behind. DRX taking their time. Paranoia goes across. Benji Fishy gonna be caught by that one. Miniboo up to the challenge. Finds the first, but Bane flushes out the enemy cipher. Now it's just Miniboo with 11 HP, and the spike is not planted for him. Mako set up, waiting on the line. Swings the corner, and Miniboo's dead. The fuse comes through. DRX. They will convert the bonus and get themselves up to 10. I mean, just crazy how much value Flashback is getting out of his utility on this site. The pings and the repings, the lurk from Mako, I saw. I saw on the minimap that that had been accounted for at least initially by Team Heretics, but I don't think they expected him to change direction back towards B. I think they expected him to go towards A. That's what we've been seeing Mako do a lot when he goes for those lurks, is it's setting up for an A maneuver. And this time around, Heretics just gamble. I agree, make it four. A uh, bulldog instead of a guardian, but oh wait, okay, Still playing around okay, with it. okay, okay. There's going to be some mind. firepower. <laughs> Is DRX going to be ready for this already? Smoke goes out. That's just going to be disrespected. Charged past by heretics as they look to make a bit of a pacey hit here towards B. Clear out on one of the trap wires. Missed it. Yep, not finding it quite just yet. Bane sending out the recall. Flashback just swings into the side. Cleans up three, re-ends will be good for two, but then Mako takes him down and suddenly. It's just Boo left standing. He's unbelievable. Just absolutely unreal. They have a zero point to try to scout his position, narrow things down. They know that he's not going to be playing forward. Smoke on the window. Seems like they may have sussed this out correctly, but there's still going to be time dwindling. DRX have been so good about denying these grab wells. Can they do it once more? As Mako in position, <laughs> locks him into the corner. They say, ha ah, 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 we've been through this so many times. And DRX, a flashback, swinging out into the site, collecting three. We'll move up now 11 to five. Little did you know that the D in DRX stands for defuse. <laughs>
little did you or know. Or deny. Or deny. Pick your poison. What? That last shot. Look at this. Ooh, that is so good. Just a fraction of a second away from saving his teammate there. Unreal. ends, but unreal oh. from flashback. And he's not even top of the table right now. No. No. It's Mako, I believe. Yeah. You are divided. Well, now, Cosmic Divide from the outset here from Boo. Another pacey hit in towards his B side. Trap wire set up. Obviously, can widely be ignored as flashbacks just here alongside the wall. Do they consider checking it? There's Binnikin Cuss going through. He peeks out. Oh, he's blind. already blinded. And flashback. He manages the strike. Rienzo, quick to reply. Equalizes that. And now, they're all up with a reveal. Blind shots. Foxy finding Woot, fishing him out. Sends out the flash, the drone, now the chase as well as Mako arrives, swinging in from behind. That mid connection. But things have come down. It seems like they've sussed out that flank here, and the paranoia will confirm it. Benji cannot hold his ground, however. Taken out by Foxy9. And now, 4v2. Trians and Boo to try to delay this, to try to stop it, but once again, they have him body blocked, they have him stacked up. The defuse will be interrupted, but it's going to be resumed immediately. A few seconds of spare as TRX have not surrendered a singular round in this half so far. I, I mean, it, what are you going to do? You know, this time around, Heretics try something a little different. They're like, okay, we, we know what they're going to do with the grab well. Let's use an Odin. I mean, just the timing there, just a little bit off for Heretics. Not expecting Flashback to be right in that corner. Still able to find value. And Mako, even though he's identified the whole time, he's just waiting for his moment to strike. Waiting for his teammates to say, hey, they're going for the grab. Well, now's the time. Just beautiful coordination from DRX. Dizzy up over the top. Buzz looking to go a bit aggressive here with that operator. But Boo oh. has the punish. A fantastic shot from the leader. To once again put Buzz down on the floor. Operator this time around, not finding any value. I got the spike. That's one of those rounds where you're so oh. far ahead. Oh, Rians. The Bane just spamming, shuts down Mini Boo on the aggressive entry, and Rians does get tagged down to 62. Foxy peeks in, finds one. Now Rians is completely and utterly trapped, pushes out, flashback, ready for it. As the paranoia goes across, and the spike is stranded here in the site. Every time they try and make a move, DRX has something better. Ooh, what a shot from Boo, though. He finds one, but the B side's opened up, but how do you get the spike? Yeah. And even then, the Hunter's Fury to further delay. As the time continues to tick down, Woot needs to deliver something with this operator. Foxy's going to go for the peek out, and he will end up falling. That's an opening now. Smoke coming through. Spike still within the nebula. 20 seconds One remaining. remaining. And Bane finds Woot. Mako gets the other. Defenders win. And it is an absolute masterclass on the defending side. It's just for Heretics, this has been their stomping grounds. No doubt. It, we haven't seen this map yet at Champions from Heretics, shockingly enough. And it, mostly it's been because right teams have been banning it against them, which makes a lot of sense. They're really good at this map. Uh, but then they, interestingly enough, banned it against Lev. Okay. But DRX, not bad at this map. I feel like they're, they push teams at the very least whenever they play this. I mean, even against Sentinels here in Champions, it was an overtime. It 13, was 13 15. 15, yeah. Always has been a bit of a brutal battle here for them. I mean, as you mentioned, you know, Heretics banning this map versus Lev. Uh, similarly, we saw DRX banning Abyss versus Sentinels. Right. So both teams opting to go for the maps that they had banned away, at least in the second rounds. As for now, Three players clustered up from Heretics on this defense at the A site. Flashback, bit of a walkabout from him. Not going to be really met with anything. Woot though. Flash in hand. Paint shell to lead. Mini boot jumping oh, forward. That paint shell going to be finding some value. Foxy ends up getting his life for that one. Taken down by the Pinchel in the end, but does find the punish here onto the enemy race. And there's a smattering of damage spread across Mako and Buzz. Well, the fact that he even finds the one there is pretty impressive, to be honest. I mean, Foxy9 has had a really hot start to the day. 30 Continues seconds here left. for the side of DRX. And they're going to make the call to double back towards A. And you have Team Heretics starting to lean in the wrong direction. Woot, important contact against Mako if he finds it. 
Now the smokes are down. Team Heretics are going to challenge. Fragment there, but taken right down. Immediately dealt with. Ood able to find that kill. Shock Dart to try to flush things out, but it ends up going wide, and time is ticking. Not on their side. The push for us to clear out, but now Spike is on the time. floor, and the round is over. Heretics will be able to find this, their first pistol win. As DRX just taking their time a bit too much there. Not about it. A little bit of a head scratcher there, but Heretics in firm control of that round from the rip. You could see as soon as there was a pistol shot, it was grenade and a blast pack up, and yeah, Mini Boo gets taken down. Switching over a different agent for today, trying to show a bit of a different look. Huge, huge pistol round. But, Same. yep, absolutely. Very, very, very huge, very huge. First one they've been able to get. As Puzz still looking like he wants to try to go for some wrist breaker plays here on this Neon. Shorty in hand. Man loves him a shorty. We have seen it a lot. He's been doing this pretty much every time DRX has dropped a pistol. Yeah. And to some varying degrees of success, I'd right say, but there. on this Neon, maybe he can find that opening. Gonna have to clear some of that Cypher Util to find the opportunity. Dark goes a bit to too deep on the first one. Second will have it as a follow-up in the slide oh, in. Stun. Buzz able to find that kill, but cannot hold onto the weapon. Flashback, however, finds it's great timing. Pushes up into market. Picks off Rianne's Woot now gonna be blinded up. Sends out a couple shots here. Presence is gonna be noted, but he's able to find one more before getting taken down, but already this is very good damage and a man advantage here for DRX as the spike is planted. The trading was so good on that entry. The setup with the utility from Mako and Foxy9, so impactful. Ooh, what a shot, though, from Mini Boo. Looking for the delay, but the, the wraparound's still coming through here. Flashback making his way through market at the moment as Foxy just tries to keep all eyes tied on him. The spray through, the swing out. Mini Boo finding the kill. The fuse being stuck, and the spray's just not going to be there. Heretics will start things off 2 0. But it's with maybe one weapon being held over as they run out of bullets. And we'll have to save that showdown for another day. Still. Pushing Heretics to the absolute limit here. Fault line is beautiful. Set up Buzz. Not much Fenji Fishy can do there. And immediately Flashback, who had been quietly creeping up through mid, able to find a great timing to swoop in and get a kill. But with that weaker weaponry, even though you've got some Spectres and Bulldogs, not really able to find that angle. They're able to stick to the fuse. So good recovery for Heretics, but it is extremely costly. All they have is that one Spectre from Mini Boot, some Sheriffs, and only a Classic for Benji. Full rifle purchase for DRX here. Let's see what Team Heretics can do with this bonus. They are fearsome with Sheriffs. Absolutely disgustingly good. And they have really given a lot of teams problems this year. Be a hell of a way to get the blood flowing. Pull off this Thrifty. Turn out, drone checking forward. Nothing going to be noted here. There's so much space It's going to be gained here. Flashback is swung up over at Tiles. We'll just set up for a cyber cage here. Peak not going to be coming through. One way for Midi Boo. Maybe trying to play off of over outside of A. Shadows traveling. Derek has been really trying to obscure the map, but not much obfuscation about that. Fast lane comes up. You know where that attack could potentially be, but they're trying to take some space around the corner, though. We have to be able to read this. Otherwise, Mini Boo about to very left. much undo a lot of the efforts, and Mako going to be caught pants down. Paint Shell's now anticipating that this is going to be reinforced. Now the Jiggle people absolutely let him know. That's going to cause a pivot now back towards this B site for DRX. Shot found. Boo able to put Buzz down. And time once again working against DRX, but this time the plant should be able to come through. Shock down at Foxy's feet. Tags him up a bit. Kill not to be found quite just yet, as he just swiftly tries to tuck back in towards main. Flashback again on a walkabout. As he spotted out Mini Boo, though, I'm not sure if he toggled the cam to be able to get that reveal. Either way, his eyes are going to be all top mid, and he's ready, actually readjusting there and getting the catch onto Benji Pishy. Attention now needs to be paid here towards Market. The flash will expire. He swings out, trying to challenge, ends up falling down. Weapon scooped up, and Heretics just two kills away from pulling this off as a showstopper. Foxy gonna be noted. Managing to find one alongside Bane before getting taken down. The swing in, Bane will not survive. But TRX will stop the bonus conversion. This is 
outrageously scrappy between these two teams. I mean, it's counter moves on counter moves. The util exchanges, the body exchanges, the way that they're doing these rounds is oh so close. A great hidden position there from Mini Boo that usually Mako so aware caught completely off guard. Flashback here completely screwed. That that flash goes right up and over that wall from Wu. Not much that Flashback can do about that except try to fight one angle or another. Speaking of fighting, we're right back into it. Must go sliding forward, it's gonna be taken down. Boo, rushing up, gets rid of Foxy9. Paranoia will crash across, will find this omen. Mako was able to collect that kill, but as he swings out, they now know it's double stacked. Flashback's not gonna be able to find any punish. 20 seconds in, and just two players left standing here from DRX. Heretics not wanting them to tie things up. The zero point tells all, they're both still here. Yeah, and this is what makes Heretics so difficult. Even without a Neon, they're still able to explode into B main, do a ton of damage, catch DRX off guard, get some big, big kills. Now you've got some questions for DRX, right like, here. can you get this plant down? Your, your economy's gonna be broken, potentially, but in a 2v4, what more can you do? They're gonna try to go for it. Two young players, flashback and Bane. We're on a hard line and Flashback not quite reacting in time. Ends up falling down. Woot collects the other. Just Boo on the floor as Heretics now move up three to one. And this is the exact kind of start that they need on Sunset to turn this series on its head. Exactly. Some great util here. Paranoia catches Foxy9. Paint shells in deep. Great job opening up that space and catch nice DRX. Good job, bro. Completely off guard. Steady as always is Rienz. So, so good on that Sova. Right here. Bit of a slow build here, still on the energy for the side of Heretics, but as they continue to string these rounds together, we know that those pop-offs will follow. Miniboo is off to an insane start. He is Alt line not getting the catch, and it is just Miniboo right around the corner. We're picked up by Buzz, but still gonna be one away from having that overdrive available. That's the whole plan of this round is go to the other side, give him the other orb. See if you can get that overdrive and see if you can do something miraculous. I mean, you have almost every ult. You're literally one away from the Hunter's Fury as well for Bane. But you've got nothing but classics. Maybe if you can get a kill or two, get a couple upgrades, you could really invest into this round. But it's not going to be easy for DRX, to say the least. Slow approach, orb grab. Overdrive at the ready. Now going to be popped. Slides forward, sends out the relay bolt, has to tuck back, tries to go up into the cyber cage, and Woot has none of it. Shuts down the entry. Plant now to try to come through. Fragment going to be disrespected as they go jumping across this one, but Rienz is fine enough. And he'll find the finisher. A plant, but no damage. Heretics now 4-1. to one. And there just isn't much utility towards the back of the pillar to really make Team Heretics uncomfortable there. They're just able to hold the line. Shut down any attempt with the overdrive. Who catches him on the slide in, but does he get him through the flash even? Jeez. But then they're so ready. They're so aware of what DRX wants to do on this weaker buy to try to push around that angle. They just throw a fragment down, swing around the back of it. Mini Boot getting on his feet. Woot getting fired up. Team Heretics forces a timeout here early. But what does Termi have dialed up? for this round for DRX to try and stop, stop this run that Heretics have been on to start this. I'm about to find out. Caution here. Bunch of full purchases here on either side. <laughs> As ping's coming down. <laughs> they don't want to mess with that again. Full pull back. Well, as we can tell, it's just Boo. Caution here. He's not chilling out, waiting to see if any aggression comes his way. Pinchy Fishy at the same time, Cam set up over in market. This is so aggressive from Heretics. Just wanting to eliminate any opportunities for some of those ults early. Now they're gonna peel back. Any boo here on a very hard forward line. Zero point, they're able to tuck away from this one. Shots are gonna ring out. No, Buzz actually does get caught by that suppression. Drone now to try to lead, but Mini Boo just takes some shots in through the smoke. And he's out. A lights out play from him. 
Gets his kill, gets the hell out of dodge. And that null command coming through from Woot holds the rest at bay and shoves them back over towards the B site. Ah, oh, just unbelievable read from him. And the timing is flawless. Left. It makes it oh so difficult now for DRX. Rolling Get Thunder through. gonna go across, but it's a tuck back. Benji Fishy not gonna be caught by this, nor is Boo. Now they're well aware. Fragment gonna be here at his feet, offering up a little bit of damage, but wow. Benny Boo swings Five back around, down, finds flashback in this round. It's done, it's dusted, and the timeout does not mean anything. Five to one, Heretics looking stalwart here on this defense. They're so good, and they're so aggressive at the points of attack, making it so difficult for DRX, just when they think they're safe, just when they think they've avoided the trap. Over towards the B side, there's another one lurking, and Mini Boo has been doing that. He's been finding that extra space, that extra angle. Saw it on the eco round, saw it here. And it has caused some serious problems, and it's got Mini Boo. There's the pop off. Yep. Well deserved. He is playing phenomenal on that race. Slide across Buzz. from Buzz. Is able to confirm the kill, so Benji Fishy going to be taken down. TP over from Boo, though, quickly looking to reinforce this site. DRX looks like it might just be one hit and a pull back, but are going to be staying here for now. Hunter's Fury, find the tag, looking for the confirmed kill, and Rians will fall. 5-3 is Mako, lingering here in mid. At the same time, flashback gets rid of the enemy omen. Now they're going to scatter to the winds, working their way over towards this A site. It's DRX to try to pull off a flawless thrifty. Well. What a time to find it. Another alt orb for Foxy9. In fact, two. She's got the spike in hand. But just a nice early pick here. A little bit of aggressive play. A little bit of an aggressive play call from Mako. Like this from DRX. Instead of playing scared, they've been getting beat up a lot in the early parts of the round. They're able to turn it on its head. Foxy's trying to slide up along the wall here. Put that stinger to use. Now going to be noted. Woot, the swing out, drags it across, finds the headshot. Looks like that might just be the end of his rope, though, in this round right here. Yeah, flashback, though. Slow creep forward. Oh, Woot, good for it again. Second charge, but ultimately DRX. Main concern is just getting rid of these weapons where possible. Swoop into that B site and grab up the rifles. They were left stranded at the beginning. Hell of a way to get a second round on the board, but it's going to be a map master card thrifty here by DRX. I just, again, if you can dissect Heretics piece by piece, that flash from Foxy9, perfectly timed. And even though it looks like maybe still wouldn't be that big of a loss for Heretics, they're able to creep up on a bunch of angles. That's something that they're so good on Abyss, but they haven't since the early part of this map, haven't found a ton of success on. It's getting a little bit extra mid control, finding that extra flank angle that gives them a few extra kills that they really need to turn the round on its head. Finally able to find it. Still the neural theft for flashback, but now showstopper again for Mini Boo. Benji Fishy has his neural theft. An orb grabbed here by Boo. Playing aggressive towards this angle. It's not one shot. Shadows traveling. Maybe just trying to scare them off, make them think, yeah, this one way is being watched. You don't want to play here. No doubt, and that's going to bring out the Owl Drone. I want to try to check, but I mean, you still have Heretics. I don't think he's primarily saw him. rotating their way over towards this B site. I don't think they saw him. I don't believe they did either. There's, there's the flash, Boo. Going to be plenty of noise as he goes ahead and evacuates, TPing over towards that back A site. Creep across now. Three players from Heretics working their way across mid. Flashback spots out one. And some scattering back here for the moment, but still DRX not pivoting, not right, pushing. Team. They're pausing again, thinking about how they want to set this up. Calling out for the smokes here from Mako. Fault line as well. It ends up being dodged. Bane going to be forced back as the fragment comes down. Slow approach as there's the ping reveal. Hunter's Fury going to be opened up. Bane going to be good for one before getting taken down, but Boo finds two. Exactly Interrupt on the showstopper, but with Mako falling, that should just about do it. TP out, flashback, getting the ping reveals, but a 1v3. It was a huge performance from him at the start, but is this a bridge too far? He finds the first. He cuts down the numbers. 
But there's a Neural Theft reveal. His own cam set up. Might have spotted them both, and he cannot find the first. Splits the difference between the two. Shots whizzing past shoulders as heretics get to the fuse and get themselves up to six. Yeah, and this just kind of takes a little bit too long here for DRX to sort of get their heads on about them. They actually have, when they're able to push Fu off that angle initially, they actually have a really good opportunity to at least take control of the site, potentially get the plant down. But because they pause, that allows for the rotations to come through. And I think there might have been a little bit of confusion there Ooh, with flashbacks, seeing insane. some players and how they wanted to deal with that, knowing that the, the showstopper could be coming over as well, something you have to consider there. But Derek's starting to run out of time off to try to force the issue, and Heretics punish them. The rotations, the, ma the macro game, really good for Heretics. So they're getting a great read, mostly, on where DRX wants to play. And push again, Shock Dart committed here towards the front, but Benji hasn't even placed it yet. So just gets that util out. Both Shocks now committed here from Bane. It's a quick tuck back. Drum not spotting anything. DRX just trying to get a sense of anything they can on the map, but oh, this once is again, this is gonna be risky though from Bane. He's gonna be sending out that drone. He does spot out both. Goes ahead, back pedals away. Great awareness from Bane to at least have it in the back of his head. They're gonna try to go to B on the other side. Many fast pivots though, and there's the ping reveal, and Buzz is gonna be left out the dry. We were able to take him down. They're swinging oh. out, and he's stunned, but he still finds a headshot. And Mako's attention is fully tied over towards that market. Now it's just Bane left to run down the clock and try to hold on to his weapon. An attempt at a fake here from DRX, but one that is very much sussed out and shut down. Heretics will get themselves up to seven. They're so clean. I, and I mean, again, it's that back pillar. Somebody is always escaping the util dump from DRX. Ten seconds or left. In, some, in this case, even getting hit by the stun and still finding huge kills. Absolutely insane. The Sharks are starting to encircle, though. Bane here in the corner. Notice that, that pressure is coming through from Boo. Finds the first one. The swing out. Looking for it. Finds Benji Fishy, but Brienne's will ensure that he's not able to hold on to that weapon. Nothing retained for DRX. And it's just full steam ahead for Heretics right now. They're just in cruise control, man. They are so good at denying any space. And the util, just phenomenal from Rienz. Finds a great timing. And then they all just swing together. I mean, this coordination is just absolutely beautiful from Heretics. You can see Mako look into the heavens for answers. But I don't know if there are many left, because Heretics have such a firm grasp on this map. A little bit of a push out towards mid. This time around, DRX trying a very different strategy. Four players now trying to cut all the way through. But a nice little oh set no. play with Benji Fishy able to find two. The tool out in mid. Foxy just looking to backpedal away from this one. Swoo tries to catch him. Foxy's so very low. 11 health remaining, the plant to come in, still one away from the Rolling Thunder. As we find ourselves here in a 3v3. This is gonna be tough, but... Foxy finds one more kill. Flashback finds Boo, knife in hand. Takes him down, reveal out off the wire, Buzz collecting it. There's mini Boo now, last one standing. Jumps forward, Foxy, fault line. At the ready, Grenade. will be dodged. The paint shell will find the kill. But time is still being bought. The swing onto the corner. Buzz gonna be good to close out the four piece as DRX go, go, go. will find themselves a third round victory. And DRX is gonna need more of that. Just a, a good idea. Something I've been kind of curious about is that they've had some success pushing mid. They've had some success finding that extra angle. Edgy Fishy. Live with two big kills, but Buzz all over the place with that Neon. Something he has been improving upon is that agent throughout this year looking much, much better. Sure, I mean, I hadn't seen too much right of it from him, but no granted, way. you look at the kill count. 
lost four of those six just in that last round. He so it has been slow going here for not just Buzz, but for DRX across the board. Yeah. Rands now, operator in hand. Expecting that same pressure maybe to come through in mid, but oh. God, many boots going for a timing shot, but Buzz, blind through the smoke, is able to outdo him. Well, now things get a little bit tricky for Heretics. You have no information on what's going on in between the A and the B site. Don't be drone. Right here. He might have been able to catch a glimpse of that operator. Rienz was just about to draw down with it. There's overall, the ult not going to be finding too much, but Bane able to go ahead and save Buzz's life. Slides forward, Woot in the corner. Cannot hold his ground. And there is not going to be a no-scope shot coming through. DRX started to look a bit more decisive, a bit more at home here on Sunset. As it's just Boone out left to see what damage he can find. Flashback fearlessly rushing forward. And now position confirmed. Swings out oh. and flashback. Yep, catches him with a wide swing, gets the readjust. Flawless fashion, DRX. Last round. Potentially able to run this back into a seven and five half. Oh, and again, it's this mid control for DRX. I feel like I'm a broken record between Abyss and Sunset talking about it, but it's true. Every time that they've been able to do that, they've been at least been able to make the round close. And in the case of the last couple of rounds, they've been able to get wins. <laughs> Running them down there at the end, I think. This could get messy. Four ultimates available here to the side of DRX. The Neural Theft, the Null Command. At the ready for Heretics as they look for an eight and four half. Some big ultimates. I mean, for DRX, if they could run this back to make it seven five, what a comeback it would be. Heretics just looked like they were going to steamroll this map. Paranoia, they're not getting a catch here on either player, I believe. Relay ball sent out to try to delay. Buzz disrespecting the fragment, pushes up, tucks back away from that. Flash, three swings, and gets himself a second. 7-5 indeed, it would seem. As it's just I the Brothers exactly Boone out to try to get a 2v5. The Neural Theft reveals their positions. Buzz slides forward, overdrive, pop, not a care in the world. Find some damage blind through the smoke. Just holding them at bay, toying with him, slides back out, gets himself a third. Maybe another 4K here. He looks for the challenge and he'll have it. Seven to five, Heretics out in front at the half, but DRX have done wonders to make it this close. An unbelievable comeback. Such a good start for Heretics, but DRX punches right back, and Buzz holding this angle, avoiding that flash, unbelievable. He had two kills previously, got a 4K. He's ending the half 13, eight, and four. It has been insane, but this is far from over. Seemingly matching the star duelist for Heretics. Now, if they can get a pistol, it's a real chance they even the score line coming into their defender's side. Look at this stack, though. Huge. DRX gambling over towards A4. Players committed there. Just flashback. Here it be. <gasps> a singular trip wire on a scanted angle. No contact, and immediately, Bane sliding a bit more towards mid. Ping's coming down, though. Spoon to try to hold this line. Buzz gonna catch a glimpse. They wanna try to hound down this omen. It looks like he has just slipped the net. The push now onto the B side, getting ready to come to fruition. The push forward, the slow creep up. The RX gonna be hot at their heels here. Find shots across. Mini boot does get knocked down to 67, but the plant can come through otherwise unhindered. A lot of damage off that shock dart. Pain shells up over the top. Flashback gonna be blinded up by the paranoia, but it's still gonna be good for one before getting taken down. We have to find the kill. Boxy caught with util in hand. Dies. Buzz not registering Boo's position. Falls for the same trap. Mako, though, trying to find the catch, playing and ring around the Rosie, but Boo now is aware, and he's coming out on top. The 3K is Bane. Knows that he is in such a poor position. Suspects the wraparound, but can do nothing about it. Heretics will tie up the pistol count at 2-2 two to two and move up now 8-5. to five. Uh, and the fact that Boo gets out of that early trap that DRX set up with that fault line 
allows him to come up huge, hide behind that box, and completely turn this round on its head. This Messi there, Buzz was fully committing to try to push into B main. Oh my god, what a nice call, Wood. Nice. <laughs> I think he's uh, giving yeah. his IGL a little credit there. And well-deserved, because Boo has had a heck of a day. Yeah, that's a big bro. Now, once again, Boo seeming like he wants to maybe try to replicate a bit of what happened in the pistol. Pokes and prods over towards A, but DRX already starting to go with the rotations oh as they hear this drone and the boom bot coming through. Trying to hide themselves as the best they can until then. Blast pack not gonna take him fully out, but Rien's watching. Gets the headshot, making sure the Buzz can't do any additional damage. Now it's just three classics. Three players trying to fill the site, trying to push up in towards main. The flashback will fall. Smoke to be sent, but ultimately right now, Sunset is Heretics' playground. They can do whatever they want in this round. They only Got one rifle, two specters, so. Can afford to send a few players in, but I don't know if they're gonna need to. They're looking like a flawless as Foxy tries to just slow him up. And as he peeks in the corner, flawless will be confirmed. Heretics one away from getting up to double digits. As we go into their bonus. Yeah, huge stuff for Heretics. Very clean. Just kind of letting DRX get over eager one by one, try to see if they can find that moment where they catch Team Heretics slipping, where they catch them trying to push a little bit too far forward. Instead, Heretics ready for it every step of the way. Extremely clean. Now they're gonna have two more rifles plus two Spectres coming into this bonus round. A little bit of a spot there onto a couple players of DRX. They're gonna try to take a little bit of mid control off the back of this. Smoke to cover this angle. Mini boo challenges a bit. Yeah, shoulder gonna be spotted, some shots ringing out. Mako at the same time, oh! though, trying to take space, but my god, Boo just snaps down and outdoes him. What a monstrous kill. And that is so much delay now, taken away from DRX, the smokes, the paranoia. And the full blown pivot towards his B site. Flashback, investigating, looking everywhere, except over towards B main. DRX now, just not really reading that the rotation could have come through. Flashback not catching anything. I must wait a moment. Kind of sent the wrong signals. Oh, and as he peeks out, this now. could end up being devastating. Boo is on a line. Does he watch for this? The answer is yes. Flashback Ooh. able to find some revenge here for his IGL. He's a sight. It's about to be taken. Plant now coming in. The rotation still continuing. Foxy trying to work his way over. Deep paint shells and the flash set here at their heels. Bing Buzz able to avoid the lion share of that damage. Flash again to just continue to hold them at bay. Flashback cannot intercept. He cannot find those picks as everybody gets tucked back in towards main. And TRX has a ton of util to clear out this B main. Can they utilize it properly is going to be the question. Drone lead spots out Buzz. Aftershock ensures that there's no one there behind. The push forward and oh! runs! Finds two! Bane and Foxy eliminated. The push up, Buzz, he's not checking the right hand side, and Mini Boo strikes! That is a bonus conversion, and in damn near flawless fashion, Heretics now up by five. And you can just see, in the way that Heretics approaches this map, how comfortable they are here. They're doing such a good job of clearing the Cypher utility, being so diligent, being so aware of the space that they have and that they're giving up. And the way that they so set up, so <laughs> Benji Fishy, of course, is a bottomless well of energy. But, but but they're so aware of the map, and they're so aware of the utility, and they're so aware of the spacing, both of their own and of their opponents in this case. So impressive. Marco just noted there by the recon, Foxy. Grabs Orb halfway towards that rolling thunder. First one in the second half for him. DRX once again kicked back. Four sheriffs and a ghost. Sounds like a bad Western movie. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. 
drone will catch a couple players out here in mid. Tuck back, tuck back away. One way got to be set up. Oh, they're just taking their time and they're toying with DRX. DRX is starting to assess. It. They're thinking that it's going to be A. As that drone comes through, it just keeps their attention tied towards this side of the map. They, and Rance even comes away with the kill. This is exactly what DRX tried to do to Team Heretics in the previous half. Would DRX fall for it? 30 seconds left. The hopes of pulling off another thrifty victory very much dwindling here Five for the side seconds. of DRX. Everybody pulls back in towards main. Rian's still just watching in case there's a very late deep flank through the attacker spawn. Foxy on the corner. Seeing plenty. And he's got the Hunter's Fury does he ends, just in case things go really sideways. Fair point. Flash connects, Boost sends out the Paranoia. Pitches on the multiple players. Fragment now sent as well to further delay. Mako, oh. ooh, trying to go for a really risky play. He's in here, and he's managed to find one. What? Puts it down, takes down Pooh. And my god, a confusing play here from the side of Mako. It's not going to deliver him around win. But damn if it wasn't Flashy. And takes away two weapons, but Heretic still get to 11, looking to replicate exactly what DRX did to them on Abyss by having a flawless second half. Uh, it's definitely going their way, and even though Mako tries to find Revealing area. a little bit of a nook Die. in the smokes, oh. a shot. He's <laughs> only able to find a couple kills before he's finally dealt with, and then they just spam the down the now. spike. Just Accurate. To understand that DRX wants to use some of that breach util to try to you know, clear their post plants or do X, Y, Z, and they're always just one step ahead. And they're finding these moments to find these huge picks, huge picks right by this spot right here. You know, whether it be on the defender side with Mini Boo or on this attacker side, we saw it previously with Rian. They're so ready for anything DRX wants to do. They're going to clear that door immediately. DRX now forced to use some of their util Gage to check this mid space, but I have Team Heretics spike. can pause. They can say, okay, let's figure out what we want to do. Yeah, they got a spot on us, but still plenty of time on this clock. Getting the spot Ooh, on Mini Boo. It's got to be concerning because you know that that showstopper is online. Boombot going to be sent. Paint shells as well to try to create some space. Showstopper now going to be in play and immediately the kill is found, but it's going to be Buzz first to fall. Boo. Taking him out over towards back site. The push up flashback, trying to find a timing, but Mini Boo, the relocation. It's just so damn clean. And off the back of this, Heretics will get themselves up to 12. Map point going to be theirs as they look to give us back to back 13 5 score lines. Foxy and Mako just set to save. But what can they try to scrape together to prevent heretics from closing out this map? I don't know, but it, heretics have been so clean. This round, nobody's died yet. Let's see if maybe somebody goes down trying to grab guns. He's coming down. Mako on the swing will be good for two. As Boo up above, Maka will shut that down. Wow. So losing out on a couple players, but it doesn't matter. The coffers are full, and map point is now secured here from the side of Heretics. With no further help available for the side of the RX. And just great awareness from Mini Boo. Expecting okay, that guys, angle. Guys, guys, I'm going to do lineup life on elbow. No! <laughs> I think that might have been a zero point line at the end. Lineup life. I love it. And here we go. Is this the last round? Or can DRX dig a bit deeper? As they've been barely scraping the surface. Foxy9 on the swing, eating a bit of damage. Bane going to be able to find one. Foxy gets the other, but Benji Fishy finds two for himself. A 3v3 is the paranoia. will force them back. Shadow right now, Heretics split away from each other a bit. Buzz, slow creep out. And Benji Fishy unable to reestablish that aim. Ends up falling down. But this is everybody now from DRX committed on this side of the map. Daryl Theft coming through. There's a quick TP across from Boo. We'll be able to get this spike in play. Let's see what they can do. 
Blasters. A lot of util already expended. Rienz is hanging around. He's sat here in mid. Oh. Mako gave it a quick little glimpse. They have no but idea. He's turned his sight now. Back over in towards Boba. Flashback. Here, waiting, watching, expecting, but not winning. Rienz to find the opener. Brings it back to parody. Three slide four two. The headshot and the follow up is clean. Attackers. 13 to five once again. This time, Sign team's very solid on this map, and Heretics solid enough that they were willing to let it go through against Leviathan. But already, look at this. DRX doing something that we haven't really seen them do. Five goes on the opposite side. Buzz gifted a sheriff and has half armor alongside it. They want that impact here from the jet. Yeah, they need to get him fired up. He needs to start fragging. Especially on this map where he can sometimes just take over as we saw in Pacific. Some of those absolutely dominant performances they had. Catches the jiggle, catches a little damage. On to Boo. Boo gonna be tagged down to 45, backs away. Still do have two other players here. As they start drifting their way across, Buzz, however, gonna be caught by the Goop. Ends up getting taken down. Mini Boo able to find that one, but Boo finished off. Bane finds that kill. The push up from under two, looking for the pincher. If he does fall, Woot's still here, taken down as it's just a bloodbath, a back and forth here between the two squads. Goes to be recovered, Shock Dark gonna be lobbed in, but he shorts it, and Foxy gonna be untouched there until the second lands. Work down to 68, as Benji Fishy, quiet, makes his presence known. Strikes instantly and leaves Bane in a 1v2. Swings out, gets the headshot dink. But has to pull back off the angle, noise made. This is the timing. Gets the finisher on the one, but the swing from Benji is absolute perfection. Exactly what the doctor ordered for Heretics. And they will win another pistol. And it's just that extra layer there for Team Heretics. And they stall up this DRX hit. They've got so much util, so many flashes to make this so difficult for them get the entry that they're looking for. So Baculo doesn't get cleared quickly enough, and that buys enough time for Benji Fishy to come over and get a couple huge lurk kills. Finds one, readjusts, goes through towards the other side, towards green, and gets another. And then he's able to clutch it up. Benji has been absolutely ridiculous this year, especially in those scenarios. Now Outlaw here in play. Shock and a bite to try to stop anybody from grabbing the orb. Who drops down off the pipes. It's just full classics here in the hands of DRX. Flashback tries to, to lead the charge. Only a smattering of damage gonna be found as Gecko Util goes through. Dizzy just further slow up. This DRX approach. Stop them from trying to overwhelm and conquer with these classics. Toxin screen down. Take flight. Well, they've got the sight, but... Go, go, go. Drone will fly, but it's quick cancel on that one as the reveal comes in. Mako is able to find Rien, but Boot puts out Mako. Buzz with a kill here onto Woot. There's a bit of damage, just the swing out. Foxy finds a headshot, but now he's on his lonesome. And he's worked down to 52 health. Nothing recovered, just tries to go for a timing swing. Some decent efforts here from the side of DRX. They do a bit of damage, but they cannot stop. There's the fuse from coming in. And that's going to be Heretics now, up 2-0 to start. They're just playing it up close and personal here. Our heretics from the get-go. They just kind of slide back a little bit. Give DRX the space they need, but to get the plant, but other than that, doing a decent job, but those classics do come alive because of it. So it is only gonna be an Aries. Oh. Aries for Boo. This is That was something I was actually considering for my 10%. <laughs> Somebody buys an Aries. It has been few and far between when we've been seeing Ares crop up. In fact, I can't really even recall any. There might have been one on Ascent in the group stage or something. Perhaps. Either way, it's unorthodox to say the least, as Boo is going to get posted up over outside of B. Going to check. Recon not spotting anything. Benji is waiting. Oh, this Set up his own turret here. A crucial round. For DRX. He's really trying to keep that outlaw hidden. Yes. He got punished a couple times against Leviathan trying to take that spot. So he's looking to see if he can turn his destiny around. Sends some shots out now, though. And his flashback needs a bit of damage, but offers plenty more in response. 17 HP remaining there on Benji as Foxy. Gets the plant down. All built up, popped. 
as Heretics get everybody in position here for the retake. See players already low on HP. Dash at the ready. Buzz pushing forward, trying to lead the charge, but it's getting further and further away. There's the push out, tries to dash back, but eventually Minibu will be able to confirm the kill. Flash connects, Ping gets the reveal. So you see he's tucked back here behind Yellow. Weapon gonna be scooped up. Nano destroyed, cannot go for the delay. Mako, however, able to find Rianz to peek out. The is gonna be denied. Minibu now striking, it's gonna be good for one. Benji just trying to stick around, see if he can find anything. Recover this Vandal. Grabs it and will be able to dip out over to safety. DRX not allowing for a bonus conversion. And a lot of space given up here by Team Heretics. Just to buy very weak, so how much they can do. I, Buzz just trapped in no man's land there. No, no assistance for him available. He just had to go big or go home, and he did get one, so not too bad. That allows a little bit of extra space to be taken, but Mako up on top of that box doing a good job finding timings to strike. Catching a couple Heretics players out in the open. Now Mini Boo. Does have an overdrive, but it's a rifle round, so you never know, I guess. And again, Benji underneath that too, but it's smoked off. Ooh. Guardian shots, it doesn't re-clear it. Yeah. They're able to note the slight reposition here from Boo. Backs away, look at this play here on the side alongside his little brother. There really looking to try to punish this B-site, but I don't know if they're gonna have any indication that there's somebody behind yellow. I mean, they're playing like there could be, and they're just trying to pull rotations. Seeing that shock dart and the Dano was behind it, but that's all just attempted bait, and it's at least got Benji to settle up in kitchen. Given just enough space here for DRX. They're completely pulling off. I mean, DRX didn't show a ton of fakes on Sunset. A lot of pauses, but... Slowly working their way into position, but Minibu... It's taking too long. Yeah, he's starting to sprint his way over. You've got to remember the Neon, then, the other side. Three players in position to try to stave up and stop this push from DRX. Very disconnected left. spots, though. Woot just one away from having to thrash online. Zero point. Not going to be scouting anybody. Dizzy at the ready. Goes up over the top. Buzz going to be blinded. Drops back as they now look to try to take space. Mako going to be dealt with. Taken down. And Mini Boon Woot. What a piece. Time dwindling, but Woot's still standing. And now it's just flashback all and it's lonesome. And he is dead. Three kills for Woot. Three rounds for Heretics. They stretch the lead up by two. And it's just an attempt to completely obfuscate what they're doing. Try to keep. Heretics guessing, but Heretics guess correctly. And again, they have a Neon. They can take risks with their rotations, with their macro play. DRX doesn't have the ability to. They can't afford to do that in the same way. And Heretics are gonna make you suffer. Gonna have to find some different answers here for DRX. So they're on a weakened buy once again. Flashback has the hero rifle this time. And now they're gonna at least show some force towards B. Similar start, sending out that drone early, grabbing the orb, got the blade storm for Buzz. And now they pull off. Let's see if they can Get out of my way. find some openings, find some kind of success. Here. It's gonna be this mid push, but Benji has the turret to play off of, right towards Boiler. Let's Buzz go for the up and over. Oh, no, he's just going to get knocked down at 34. And some damage found. Benji at 87, turning his sides. Oh, the Jiggle Peak forward. That one going unpunished. Doesn't need any additional damage. Flashback tries to lead the charge. Flies at the same time, though, going to be dealt with. And Benji wins the fight. The hero rifle on the floor. Mako pushing forward. Is able to scoop it up. Swings in. It's going to be good for the headshot. But he's completely surrounded. Spike in hand with rescue a world away. Bane trying to strike, needs to hit that headshot, but cannot. Now it is just Mako. Let's see if he can do anything else here. Spots out Minibu, finds the first one, snaps down, does get a third. Some damage dealt, but with 15 seconds remaining, just nothing realistically more to be done, but now can he actually make it in for the plant? 10 seconds left. 10 seconds remaining, no line found for Boo. He has time. He's gonna have this plant. Now, Ooh. 
About 0.4 seconds left to spare. Plant to come through. Mako. They try to bail no away. And the pit is in play. Can he actually do this? So aggressive. He's out of it for now. He does have a bite available. Tiptoes back in. Completely unaware of the angle of approach, but the decay now is brought to parity between these two. And Mako stands tall. The ace to clutch it out as Mako is back. You have got to be kidding me. How does he do this? This kind of play from Mako. It has been a long time since you've seen something like that. I don't know if I've ever seen one that good from him. He has had plenty of greats, but that may be his best yet. Absolutely incredible. The ace to get DRX their second round win. <laughs> and if you want to inject some hype into your players, into your rookies. Well, map three was going to deliver in already just five rounds in. It certainly has, but Heretics still do have the lead. Purchase, though. Advantage goes the way of DRX, but the ult economy from Heretics is quite deadly at the moment. Contesting that orb early, showing a very different look now, our DRX. It's been a lot of early B pressure. And this time around, had Heretics adjustment to try to get a little bit aggressive themselves towards green, but... Boot is here. He's one of the players with a hero rifle. And he with a guardian on the opposite side of the map. Going to start sprinting his way across. Don't have the toxic screen or any or much to cover. It's just going to have to be done with some good shooting as well here for DRX. Some poking and prodding the drone to try to lead the way. Spots out too, over towards screens, but Woot for now, gonna be unnoted now. Very much known. This fragment does not go deep enough, but he swings out, takes out flashback. Mako able to find one, finds two. Spike is planted, buzz down to five, has to burn the tailwind. A 3v3, but as they continue to push up, they can take some space, that back right area of sight. Weapons can be handed over here to Boo and Benji. You got the overdrive. Flash and a peek out. Minibu spotted, updraft to dodge the bite. Buzz keeps himself safe as Mako looks for back-to-back -back aces. No way. Finds him, the slide over, oh. and he can't quite make it happen. Are you kidding me right now? Minibu though, though, down to 34. Foxy still standing. Just a classic with time ticking. Foxy drifting across the opposite way, Minibu. Wanting to at least be able to try to find that elimination. No, he will not. We are tied up at three to three, but it's still narrow margins. Heretics fighting tooth and nail. Well, I mean, they have a, a lot of advantages in this situation. I think if they have a full buy, that's potentially a very different round. Because again, you don't have many smokes to work with in this DRX in comp. The, control of the toxic game. screen's all the way on the B side. So it, it's going to take some fancy shooting or some really good flashes, which DRX doesn't have too much of. It's just great play by Mako, who has had unbelievable rounds, the last two rounds. Just absolutely yeah. unbelievable. Two rounds, nine kills is pretty damn good. I thought he was going to get the ace again. I thought it was going to happen. I'm sure for a brief little moment he did as well. But now Woot up above. That Thrash still online. None of the ultimates committed into that previous one. And Benji Fishy now just one away from having that lockdown available to really stack up the war chest here for Heretics. Four players hovering around mid. DRX would commit the Hunter's Fury there, but I'm just going to wait this out. Clear that drone, but trying to hide the stack of players on the other side of the wall. However, it's not, again, not fooled heretics at all. They're doing such a good job these last right couple here. of maps. Of the clock greeting. is running down. 43 yep. seconds now remaining. Steering seeming like they're in position to try to strike, but right at that very moment, they get slowed up. The crash comes through. Heretics here. looking to play this clock down a little bit lower. 30 seconds left. They pull back. Just seeing if they could find a timing on when DRX would go for the hit. Instead, DRX no cuts way. sound. Dash across, Buzz dropping down. Oh God. Hunter's Fury going through a <laughs> flashback, absolutely torn asunder. Buzz going to be displaced, but not before Woot ends up dying. Mako again finding impact, finding Ten one, but left. 
with the kill found, the lockdown is in play. Spike going to be planted, but they're still all so very far forward, and they have to get tucked back. Who's coming? Similar positions, and Foxy's going to be out in the open. Bane, however, able to note him. Swings out around the side, Foxy. Gets his way up into Nest. Safe for the moment. As he manages to peek out, the shuts him down. Mako gets re-ends, and now it's just Benji Fishy left standing. Rushing forward, trying to take some space. He will be able to find one, but he's got five HP remaining. Don't interrupt Being at the ready, the recon coming through. Pink spots him. They know that he's not on it. They know it's not the half. Benji has to let it go. He has to run away. DRX will gain a lead of one round. And it's just enough of a pause here from DRX. That Team Heretics overcommits to an attempted crunch play right at the orb. And this time around, that extra time, that extra pause that DRX has been showing throughout this entire series works a treat and they're able to get through. I mean, poor flashback just stuck <laughs> between dueling lightsabers there. Obi-Wan and Darth Vader are dueling and Flashback is stuck right in the middle. Overdrive that Minibu's been sitting on and is going to be popped here. Yeah. Should get used. And they're aggressively stacking towards that A orb, our team heretics, but DRX changing directions once again. Going back to that default we saw. Using the drone early to try to identify Boo's position. They're going to get the spot. Trying to clear him out with utility, and they do. He's going to fall back, but again, it's taking a long time. So you're giving Heretics the ability to try to maneuver their chest pieces into position to try to keep DRX from finding checkmate in the round. Your point not spotting. I kind of got to be sad. Mako, oh, the timing is just absolutely perfect. I think you just heard Miniboo sliding all over the place. Decides to push in under two, finds that kill. Zmako pulls Boo's attention long enough for Buzz to strike. Two quick kills here for Flashback. Wu able to find one. But otherwise, it's Benji just having to hold on to that Vandal, clutching it now two rounds in a row. That is a much cleaner entry there for DRX. Able to just keep inching their way forward this time. Able to keep Boo a little bit off balance. Something that at times, they've struggled with, even back to Abyss, where Boo was able to find those big early kills on DRX executes. Make it much more difficult this time around. Able to find those opening picks Flashback quickly. Flashback on the hunt. No. She should be okay. Just stay seated here in this position. Doesn't seem like he's gonna be scouted. Yeah. We'll take a drop down and some noise made. So yes, weapon will be retained. But DRX similarly not allowing for that timeout to find value. Now we're up five to three. Waiting for that DRX A hit util dump where they send Buzz up on top of the box next to 410 and try to just quickly take control. But again, it's hard to because Heretics is so willing to get aggressive with this Neon. You have to respect it. And a great check with their util early, anticipating a potential oh. maneuver. Oh, Buzz. Buzz getting spammed out, forced out of that it's nest. Light. Pulls back away, and that's some very good, much needed early damage here from the side of Heretics, who have so many players on this side of the map. But that lockdown going to come through. There's the Mosh sent in, shock darts, everything to break this, and they will. The Rx may be scratching their heads here for a moment. Boo still sat outside of B in case there's a pivot. Wall falls, but Buzz out on top, finds a headshot, puts down Mini Boo. And that's one of those mistakes that often sent rounds awry for Team Heretics in their previous matchup. But still, DRX are really taking their time, trying to work this as slowly and efficiently as possible. Clear the dizzy. Buzz, though. Ball to drop up. again. Let's just stand here on top of 410. Start backpedaling. Now the Null Command to come through. Recon, not gonna find Woot in this position. Eventually is able to find the headshot there. As Mako can take it down, and Benji is gonna be good for two. Buzz and Bane on the floor to push up over the top. A shot in the flashback shoulder. 
as he stays tucked back away. But now, the null command expired. The pit available. Does Boo pull the trigger on this? Fragment and Nano, but Foxy's so close. He's playing on a narrow margin, but he's got a spot. And he takes him down now. So once again, all on Benji to try to be the hero. Jumps up over the top, eats an immense amount of damage. As you can see, the panic setting in. Fragment down. The rope ride coming through. He's up over the top. He's found one. Foxy Nine, a deep reposition. Imagine if I died right now. The tap of the spike. And Foxy with the finisher. DRX get to six. The it's economy <laughs> for Heretics once again broken. It's so scrappy, but DRX on the back of Mako's heroics have started to gain control of this match. What a play there by Foxy Nine identifying that small gap in the toxic screen. Look at this. Understanding that utility so, so well. What awareness from him. He has had a tremendous day. It's Abyss was insane. And he's right behind Mako. Well, not right behind, but he's behind Mako. Second place on his team. Everybody is. Yeah. Benji looking to turn to take some space here. Pushing his way out in towards mid, and this is telling Heretics, like, yeah, this is likely just going to be another A hit. DRX continuing to prioritize and target this site. And they're trying to be a little bit quicker with Boo's movement out of B to try to get this flank angle. It's taking a huge amount of space here. I mean, they know exactly what's going on. Turret set up in mid. They know that there's not been a rotation out. The last attempt at a weaker buy out of Thrifty. Didn't that quite go their way, but it was damn close. Heretics this time, can they make it happen? Gives away a lot of info, seeing Buzz there. And that allows them to just stay, to just plant their feet onto A, because you basically know wherever this attack is going to be, Buzz is going to be as well. That is the MO of the way DRX plays this ice box. And they, and they can just wait. And DRX now going to have to pull the trigger here sooner rather than later. 30 seconds. Mosh has been burned, but Benji cleared out. Foxy able to find her ends. Mini going to be good for one. It's the headshot. Oh. Finds a follow up. Buzz caught. Whoa, with the sheriff. Looking for that second elimination. They double face him. It's Bane to strike him down. Boo now arriving. A sheriff in hand. Bane at 49 HP. Has to go for the reload. The slow creep up. The noise has been made. Can he get the shot? He absolutely can. And this time, Heretics will not let the round slip away from their grasp. Just again, it's Heretics making adjustments based off of what they've been seeing in the previous rounds. When they're going A, they're not really changing direction too much. That allows Boo to take that little bit of extra space and allows the rest of Heretics to firmly plant themselves on the A site, set up these crossfires, wait out the DRX hit. And hit some nasty shots along the way. Mini Boo, fantastic with the Guardian. That second with 11 HP, the backbreaker for DRX. Yeah, if not for getting that second one, this round is very likely in the hands of DRX, getting themselves up to seven. But you can see what it means here to the players, trying to keep that energy up. But now, a change up in the game plan here. DRX, it comes in over towards B, but Buzz has an operator. Well, this is. A little bit of a, a little bit of a confusing situation for DRX now. Initially hoping to find some space towards B, but the Viper's pit is giving them other ideas towards how they want to approach this round. And Miniboo so far up, trying to find that early pick when a player crests that corner. Going to hear that drop down from flashback as well. It is noted, but it looks like Mako on that swing out. He might have just caught a glimpse. Shots now flying Miniboo's way. He knows that the op is going to be here for Buzz. Drops down. Off pipes at the moment. They've got a double stack right around this corner. Gonna have to hit with some good flashes. And we potentially in position to go for some crossfire here as well. Swing out, shot's gonna go wide. Mako able to find one, and he can't get himself off the top of pipes. Ends up getting traded. The one for one, the recon gonna be sent. Fragment over towards Woot's feet, pushes him down at 52 as he desperately backpedals. Drone to lead the way, the thrash available to him. Does he commit it here? Seems like the answer's gonna be yes. He pulls back over towards screens, however. The time. There's two just around the corner. This could be brutal. Pop flash gonna be sent. Buzz watching. 
The Thrash chasing Foxy to be detained. Shot into the shoulder, finding one. Cannot line up the knives. Rien's able to stay alive, and now it's a 2v3. Placing swamp grenade. Swap down. Arrow sent, Bane, shock darts shock in down. transit. As the holes in the defuse gets ready to come through. Takes down Benji Fishy, but he got it up to half. Hunter's Fury now sent out, but he's doing this before the retap. A bit rushed from the side of the RX. They drop down. The defuse once again going to be resumed. The reveal ping, however, for Bane is monstrous. And he's just keeping him off the defuse. The hold, the attempt, the dink, and the 3K Red Bull clutch. Bane will bail them out as the RX get up to seven. It took everything in the kitchen sink here for DRX and for Bane to get it done. Every piece of utility he had. The shock darts, the hunter's fury, the recon dart. I love the way Heretics plays this. They know they have the thrash. They know they have time on their side and they are trying to delay, delay, delay. But somehow a few players of DRX are able to slip the net, get the plant down, get to those post plants and they have just enough to get over the line. Boo once again pushing forward. Tiny amount there on the Foxy. DRX again, a bit of a change up. Operator still in hand, but now sight set early towards B. Clear it on that recon. They're trying to see if they can catch a player. A little off guard around that corner. Gonna use the drone to check it, but flashback has already abandoned that belt position. He's already scooted in. Back towards mid to back up the rest of his team. Still have that Hunter's Fury to consider during this plant. The op. He's not peeking out. There it is. And Buzz able to align the shot. Boo going to be taken down. B site for now. Broken open. Benji Fishy not too far off. Creeps his way up through kitchen as the spike gets planted. Hunter's Fury comes in. Foxy maybe giving his life forward, but follow up shots are not going to connect. So he just gets tagged down. Jiggle peek out, but Mini Boo not going wide enough to actually catch a glimpse here of the operator, but the shot from Buzz will not find its mark. Three peaks, however. Benji Fitch is going to be taken down. Dizzy finds the blind, the push out, the spot through that cloud burst, and Woot is able to flush him out. Bane, however, finding Rien's. The push up here into oh! this smoke, into this pit, and Woot draws down the shorty. Able to find three. One HP on him as he shoots from below. The 4K from Woot as he gets himself onto the defuse. Narrow margins, but he has it. 1.21 seconds remaining, and Heretics will give us another 7 and 5 half. This is absolutely insane. Absolutely crazy how close these rounds are. Neither team leaving anything on the table. Everyone fighting tooth and nail. We'll see you guys on the other side of halftime. <laughs> Any boo composition that they have. I don't know, but I, it's going to be, I think it's going to be tough. It certainly is. Both teams wanting this so desperately, but only one can have it. You know, no hero sheriff or buzz, just the regular kind. No extra armor bought for him. Bane's got one in play as well. I like this. Try to use these long sight lines to find those picks on this map. I mean, it's four ghosts for the side of Heretics. You can get some of those early kills. Three ghosts as well to back up DRX's purchase. Not much util, just the one flash for Foxy9. Yeah, no fragment to try to slow things up. Similar uh, it, here for Mako. If you can just dodge the gecko util, you have a, a fighting chance here as DRX, but Pick that's going to be the key. Flashback, he's just cleared the turret, so now they have to be a little bit more wary about that backside approach. Space going to be taken. So who tries to lead the charge of Mini Boo? Going to be taken low, but Bane finished off. Who finds one? Foxy dead. Mako fills quite a bit of space far forward, but now needs flashback to deliver as he's the last one standing. 
The drift across, a bit of damage found, nearly the headshot connecting. Ooh, alive, the drop down herd and flashback. Fast to find the punish. Mini boot just with three HP. If you can get Benji. For now, they're both just sat stagnant, tucked around the corner on that left hand side. Time ticking as flashback fully investigates the site. Holds it for a bit. Cannot be fast enough to try to find that punish. The swing back out. Hey, you oh! saw that? Are you serious? He even gets the 4K. He's on his feet. Bane backing up his boy. As DRX tied up three to three in pistols by simply holding down a button. <laughs> I'm just blown away. Just this match has everything. A stuck yeah. defuse what? out of nowhere. What a smorgasbord <laughs> yes. of unreal. I mean, you can see right here, coaching staff cannot believe what they just witnessed. I can't believe it either. Just a buffet of everything Valorant. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now this begs the question for Heretics, do you let that defeat you? Do you let that crush your spirits, your hopes, your dreams? Or do you buckle up and get right back into the game? That's what they're going to be looking to do. I think they can. I have been so impressed this whole year with their mental. Root ready with the peek out, but Buzz changing up his angle. There's the face, and it's going to be Ren's dead. Root dead on the back end. Attempted the double swing, but neither can find the punish. Buzz dash at the ready. Opposite just hang out here as Mako catches a glimpse, and Benji Fishy gets taken down. Worry about this danger, man. Ooh, util, caught in hand, Bane down to one shot, but flashback swoops in from behind. And ships passing in the night, Boo will creep his way forward here towards B. <laughs> Buzz is like, where'd he go? I mean, there's, an there's a real left. opportunity for Boo to potentially do some damage here, but it seems like Buzz may be sensing that he has had he the net out. slipped, the push coming through, and he will put him down. DRX move up nine to five in flawless fashion. Okay. Well, a great hold here from Buzz. So good with the snipers, this event continues to make other teams' lives miserable. Great backup there from Flash. God, that is, yeah. I spat my water out. I know, I was, <laughs> I was almost the recipient of said water. <laughs> you wish. Let's get ready to go into the bonus. <laughs> Only if it was from... Outlaw, uh, still, no, don't finish that sentence. <laughs> okay, okay. Outlaw still in hand here for Buzz. Two half armors on the opposite side. And he's staying tucked away here. Risky position, and the zero point gets cleared. Buzz noted, now oh at risk. The dash does not take him out of safety, but pops the updraft, and somehow he gets away scot-free. Lurk here from Benji. Huge. Good. Eventually able to confirm the kill. Foxy going to be taken down. Buzz now that much more at risk. Location revealed. The slide forward, the stun. Tries to go for the long-range snow scope. And that's not going to hold any water. Bane on the swing out, taken down as Benji's able to find the kill. Mako the only one able to reply back. It's the bite far too late to try to set up for a denial on the plan. <laughs> Look at this lurk from Boo all the way through. Defender spawn already. All the way in around the back, and this could be devastating, but there's still three players that DRX immediately have to be concerned about. Double creep up. The tap coming through. Poison Orb going to be set up. The spray being found. Boo now getting ready to strike, creeping his way across. Here at top side, push out of the smoke. Many people are going to be able to find one, and he'll find the other. Not quite false, but damn near. Heretics not allowing for DRX to start running away with this. They answer one back. Uh, the way they're using their util to keep Buzz uncomfortable, to keep him off balance, to set up Benji Fishy again for another nice lurk through mid. You have to be so aware going up against this Heretic squad on this map because players are all over the place. They are always poking and prodding, looking for those openings. Something Leviathan did an okay job of shutting down. Better than okay, honestly. Because Heretics had to clump up, had to start fighting as a squad to pull it back against Leviathan. Leviathan was so aware of their angles. And DRX needs to shore that up here. They're going to continue to find success because you are letting players like Benji, Fishy, and Boo go on lurks like that. 
it is going to be rough sledding. Clear on the ring con, one shot rings out. No real read on just quite how many players are here. Smattering of noise made, Bane turning his sights over and towards Kitchen, worried about maybe a delayed lurk there. The alarm bot right on top of the orb at A. So DRX seemingly looked to do a delay with the, the utility. Push Armbot forward. Cleared. Yep. Swiftly dealt with. Bit of a slow up. Shock darts, everything just going to be lobbed through. Recon looking for the reping, but nothing going to be spotted. Mako repositions, dropping down, filling some space as that Mosh goes away. But they look to try to flush him out. He's a bit of damage. He swings out, and Rienz is going to be good for the shot. Wood able to find a flashback. Rienz finding a second. Bane taken out, and Foxy and Buzz have no other choice but to stay put. Boom may be at risk here. It's Foxy. Does not opt to go down to. Will not be able to peek out that window and find that punish. So Heretics. They will pick up a flawless to bring it back. Just two rounds separating once the spike goes off. I'm out of here. Yeah, this whole setup here for DRX, I thought might be more of a buy time for the rotations from Foxy9 and Buzz and then go for the retake. But instead, they opt to try to contest the plant itself. And that might be part of the idea, to try to catch Team Heretics off guard a bit. You know, Mako there waiting for that Mosh to dissipate before he drops down behind that box to try to catch them off guard. But the problem with that is, is you have Boo, you have a Neon who can run around and, and can kind of catch you off guard a little bit on some of those timings. So Mako steps out and that gives his position away, makes it easy for Team Heretics to clear him. The two other players try to step in there, flashback and Bane and they can just get shut right down. So DRX there, forced to go into a save, still have the op for Buzz and the rifle for Foxy, but that was well handled by Heretics, and yeah. that's something that needs to be rethought about. The gears are turning now. Thrash online, Hunter's Fury there. Four re-ends as Buzz trying to go on his forward angle. Dizzy sent, forces him back the wall, oh not spotting God. anything, catches a glimpse of his shoulder, messes up the dash, but Still is able to get out. Minor damage taken. The drop down somehow. Neither Foxy nor Woot being eliminated as a Hunter's Fury from Rienz is absolutely spot on. Cleans up the enemy KO, but in all of the chaos, mutations across from DRX towards this A site. As Heretics now evacuate and look towards B. Uh, everything was gambled onto that A site to find those picks, and they get one. They're gonna try to contest. Mako, very close to Nest. Buzz already here with the op. They get the Viper, so they can't try to play off this wall, but Dizzy will hold him at bay for now. And the Thrash comes into play. Location revealed. And he might just get caught, and he has. Midibu playing right off the back of that Thrash, chasing it. As Mako tries to swing out, but is instantly dealt with here by Rienz. Just flashback in Bane now. Operator potentially recoverable, but it's up on top of the wall. Can grab that relay bolt as they both stay tucked back. And Benji Fishy is able to find one. Heretics are going to get within touching distance. Nope, Boo's got him. And yep, Boo, Boo swung around the back bane. No read on it whatsoever, but doesn't really matter as Rienz will clean up a third. And now we are just one around separating Heretics. Looking to tie things up at 9 to 9. Uh, quick timeout. I think going to be taken. I think you've got to find ways that you're not allowing this Neon to run all over the place. Keep yourselves a little bit more mentally aware. That's a great shot from Benji. Right up and over. Oh! Unreal. I have ult. We can't go up here, guys. We can't. <laughs> Just let him know. He was absolutely right. Yep. yep. Right, Dix, you can't let them yep. just run away with that economic advantage. And it's been tough for them on this map to hold this defender's side this year. Can they shore it up when they need it most? Dart out the ready to try to scout for another forward position with that operator, but this time it's Buzz once again back towards that B site. Foxy immediately being told, rotate over to A. Yeah. Flashback though, covering your screens. Does he just send it for the lockdown? Clear out on the nano. 
to start things off. It's oh Bane. God. Gonna be sending his own drone. Who pulls back behind the wall. The Dizzy up over the top. Gonna be cleared. Bane here in the corner. Full flash connecting. He's able to tuck away. Spike for now. Still sat. Stagnant. It's Boo here at the top of 410. Goes on scout at the sideboard and oh, Mini Boo. Oh, oh, oh. Great with a shot. Finds Bane. Looks for a little bit more, but he gets a little bit dicey as Foxy holds the line for three. Who will put him down. And now we go into a 2v2. The jump forward, flashback. About the face into both, and he will conquer them all. Two kills, two HP, no problems. Flashback somehow rescues the round. <laughs> and what a round for the youngsters from DRX. Foxy9 coming up big once again. Three huge kills. It looked like this was going to be Mini Boo just running freely through the rest of this round, but he was shut down and Flashback with two HP left. Able to finish the job and DRX able to stabilize, able to keep their economy, well, alive. I'm not gonna call it good. It's a float. It's not drowning quite just yeah, yet. Yeah, there are holes in the ship though. Yeah, meanwhile, Heretics, there's, they're still on a yacht. Yeah, yeah the Heretics are, uh, they're living large, but they're a few rounds behind. Yeah. So they're going to need to find a little bit more success. And crucially, that lockdown did not come into play. Flashback was able to hold on to it, so still has that. Moving forward here into round 19. It's again, a lot of space gained here. This drone quickly going to be cleared out. Let's see what they want to do. I thought maybe they might try another switch of sides heading over towards B. I think Heretics, though, really looking to try to brutalize. I mean, I feel like they... They probably looked at that last round and said, if we can just hit a little bit better utility, maybe towards the back of sight, we might be able to use Mini Boo's Neon, ahead. take control. They're going to go for it. Oh, wait, there's a lockdown immediately in response. Yeah, lockdown here. Look up for the timing. Mini Boo, though, unable to align the shots. We've got to be ground up there by the Nano Swarm. It's a lockdown. It has to be respected, and the spike is left stranded. Buzz given an opportunity, a time now to try to rotate over. His two players are detainment. Oh, ben Benji. Benji's play and protect. He's able to find one, and that kill right there, that overextension from Mako, could be their undoing in this round. Bane is eating this damage on the bite, trying desperately to allow somebody to push up into him, but his buzz falls. He has no other recourse. He was trusting in buzz to get one and get out, but instead, it's DRX. Egg on their faces, allowing once again for Heretics to get within touching distance. This is just money, to say the least. I mean, you got nano swarms killing players, you got snake bites killing players, you got overheating, you've got a lockdown that detains two players. What an absolute roller coaster this icebox has been. And you can see the pressure at every moment, every round is so, so critical. And DRX back onto an eco because that economy just could not. Stabilize. Dash at the ready, the wall to fall. A glimpse there on a mini boot. Can't quite find the pixels though. There's two knives expended, down to three. Buzz has to back away. Back to me. Heavy stack here from DRX. Four players at this site. Heretics, onus is on them. They just cut the noise, keep things quiet for now. Kind of curious. Uh, with the way Benji has so far been playing, it doesn't seem like they're going to go for the rotate. And now Benji working his way towards mid. Seemingly, this will be a B hit. Making some noise here. Benji trying to see if he has any kind of access, any way to get himself under two. Flashback's able to hold things for now. Swingman will lead the charge, and Buzz oh. will be taken down just there in front of the wall. And it's a headshot bound. Now the overdrive's going to be popped. They flood forward over towards Snowman. Foxy9 going to be able to find one. Mako, similarly with a kill. But now it's just flashback. Left standing. And they know exactly where he's at and exactly what weaponry he has. Scoops up the Vandal. Can he try? Can he even think about getting the clutch here in this position? There's the first one to fall. Don't a retap here on the spike. The time starting to tick. They double face out, and he can't quite isolate. Benji will put him down and will bring Heretics.
tied up now at 10 to 10. And I just love the way Heretics utilizes this Neon. Mood's been really good here on this Gecko as well. It's so annoying for DRX to go up against, but with that overdrive against an Eco, it's so easy. <laughs> it, it makes it so easy to push towards Snowman, to push into those deep post-plant positions and make just DRX's life a nightmare. And here they go again, the op. There. Everything from their economy being invested into this round. You have some ults, you have some things to work with, but so does Heretics. Zero point only spots out Boo. Once again, Foxy is rotating over, peeking in towards mid. Is Bane's drone gonna be cleared out? Three ults available here on either side, but Rian's maybe add a fourth into the mix here for Heretics. Just one away from having that Hunter's Fury. I love this for Heretics because if the pit goes down on a site, you have the lockdown, okay, but there's the counter from the Hunter's Fury, but you also have the thrash from Wood again. So there's, I think they have a slight advantage potentially. It just depends on Boxy Nines. No command. Thrash starts, Nano's gonna be popped there. Flashback wary that somebody is pushing alongside that Thrash once again. Pops it early though. Yep. We can just wait this out now. Flashback. Wait it out, they shall. Yeah. Fastlane gonna be set up, the Dizzy up over the top. Fragments burnt here, so if that lockdown comes into the play, they do not have that nade to try to clear things out. Who's in, up over the top, trying to duke it out here against Flashback, but cannot find the kill. Wingman able to find the stun, Mini Moon slides up into his face! And cleans up two! Bane, Mako, dead! And all Buzz can do Spike planted. is hear the sound of his teammates dying over on the A site. The ops in play and Heretics should be damn suspicious about that. Haven't seen, haven't heard this jet. You know what gun he's holding. Shot goes wide, Buzz position given up. Tries to tuck back here behind Yellow. He's in trouble. But holding on to this weapon is going to prove to be a nigh impossible task. The second shot will not connect, and Benji will rip it out of his grasp. Heretics have the lead, and are just two rounds away from punching their ticket to the Inspire Arena and sending DRX home. I mean, it, it's just so amazing what Mini Boo can do on this Neon. He gives you so many dilemmas, so many problems, and you either have to shut him down before he really gets up to speed, or he's just gonna start blowing past you and knocking players down, time and, once, and time again. And once again, it's a kickback economically, DRX. Barely able to scrape together some weaponry. But more importantly, they lost out on three ultimates. There's only one expended from Team Heretics in that previous round, yep. and Rienz was able to get that Hunter's Fury. They threw everything they had at that round, and they came up well short. That may have been the death knell here for DRX, but we'll see. I like this idea to grab a shotgun. I think that's a, a decent potential counter to what this Neon is going to bring at you. But only if they can try to usher people over towards Mako. That's true. Dizzy up over the top. Mako's just sat in the garage for now. Flash will get a full connection here. Because they desperately want them to turn tail and pack up and send it towards B, but Heretics is saying, no, we like this spot and we're here to stay. Not sure where the fragment ended up going either way. It doesn't matter, it's not on top of the lockdown. That will go through, it has to be respected. The plant, the pit, will all come in. Heretics trying to get themselves now up to map point, to match point. It is damn near secured for them. Spotted on the buzz, some damage taken. Let's whittle down to 66. Buzz up over the top, the bite landing. Bane taken down. Wu trying to take some space with that shorty in hand. Ends up falling. His flashback's going to be good to find one, but he's instantly going to be flushed out. As the spray across nearly connects the drop down, it's right into his crosshair. There's only two kills to be found, but Team Heretics. Seemingly will not be dissuaded. Match point in their hands. DRX need to run back two consecutively to take us into overtime. And they're still able to hang on to one more ult for this round. The Hunter's Fury for Rienz. 
is going to be there to potentially close this out and send themselves further on to face Sentinel. Mars! Let's go. They know how close they are. Oh yeah, they've got to feel it now. They are starting to run over DRX. Once again, a push forward. But Buzz immediately having to backpedal. Goes for the re-peak. Just not giving him the opportunity. Drone to check. Quickly gonna be cleared out the Dizzy. Not quite able to connect, but Norwell, that flick and Buzz eats so much damage! And now he is dead! Additional value found, the Hunter's Fury getting the tag, flashback down to 70, Foxy9 on 45. DRX are halfway out the door. It's gonna have to be another hero play from Mako. He has to go huge. He's here at back yellow. The noise being made. They're suspicious of his position, and now they are very, very well aware, aware of it. He's only gonna be good for one. 3v4, now 3v3. Foxy finds a headshot. Boo gonna be taken out. Spike being crept forward here. Seeking the plant. This flash is gonna be sent to swing through, and Foxy gonna be dealt oh. with as Mini Boo looks to push them down. This Neon has been a thorn in their side the whole map throughout. And now it is just Bane left asking. There they are. IGL, Mako, what do I do? Unfortunately, he's running out of options and the Nano is not cleared. Everything working against this rookie. The tap, they're just playing with their food. Recon has the ping. He's trying to bait them forward, but heretics do not give him the opportunity. Rienz will swing the corner. He will find three. 